Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another Deke J. Wilson STEM video. Uh, again, we're going to be talking about um, some robotics here. We're going to be using the robot software, Robot C. Again, it is an excellent software. If you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've showed you, um, we're going to go over some basics, some basics really quick, and then we're going to get into uh, showing you how to program your sensors. All right. So again, this is the graphical interface. There's two different interfaces that you can use. There's a graphical and there's a script interface. Uh, for my class, obviously, we use the graphical interface. But for my more advanced students, I certainly will allow them to write in script. All right. So on the graphical interface, you have your uh, graphical functions over here on the left side of the screen. OK, then you have your program flows statements. Obviously, those of you that have written script before, these are what we call like our conditional statements. Um, then we have like our variables and then we have our simple behaviors. And then what I like to get into is uh, allowing us to program our robots to start to think on its own and to do some things on its own without having so much uh, human interaction with it. All right. So in order for us to program our robot to go forward and sense uh, some, when something is in front of it, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to, well, for this particular pro program, what we're going to do is there's a wall in front of us and we want our robot to drive forward. And when it sees that the wall is a certain distance in front of it, then uh, what we're going to have our robot do is stop and then turn left. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use our set motors. Obviously, uh, one of these is going to be a set left motor and a set right motor. So I set my left and right motor at 50% power. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a wait until statement. I like using these wait until statements. There's all sorts of different ways that you can do this. But me personally, I kind of like using the wait until statements. So I'm going to say wait until my sonar sensor, okay, is it senses something is less than or equal to, let's say, 10. Right? So now when I... Uh, download this to my program. All right, I'm going to start at the beginning. And one of the cool things about this program is you can look at this from different camera angles. I'm going to look at this from camera angle three. Okay, so you can see the wall in front of us. And what I'm going to do is if you click on the sensors, if you click on the view sensors button, then you can see how my sonar sensor is hitting this wall. Okay, so now when I press play, my robot's going to move forward. It's thinking on its own now. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's shooting out the sensor. And then once it realizes that something is uh, 10 in front of it, it's going to stop. Okay. And so then when I scroll around, you can actually see that it sees that it did not hit the wall. It actually sensed something was 10 centimeters in front of it and it stopped. Okay. So that is uh, how you would program your robot to uh, go out on its own. Once it senses something is in front of it, it will then move on to the next part of your program. So again, like I said, the next part of my program was I wanted it to turn left. All right. So what I'm going to do, just like we did before, if you haven't seen the video on the on making your robot um do a point turn towards the left. I'm going to set my left and right motors and I'm going to set my left motor to be negative 25 because I want my left motor to go back and then my right motor is going to go forward 25. And then I'm going to say wait until I'm again I, I love using I use wait until's and I'm going to say wait until my gyro sensor heading is less than or equal to 
negative 90. Now remember, when you're turning left, your robot is turning towards negative numbers. When your robot is turning right, it's turning towards positive numbers. Okay, um, just to give my arm motor, and I, I'm going to show you guys why I'm doing this. Okay, so if you see right here, my arm, mo my arm motor is a little bit too close to the wall. So if it tries to turn, it might bump into the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a little bit more clearance. So I'm going to make this 20 centimeters. Okay, now I programmed it so that my motor, my robot's going to go straight. It's thinking on its own here. It's doing its own calculations. When it senses that it's 20 centimeters in front of something, okay, um, it's going to then move to the next part of the program. Actually, one thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to put this stop all motors right here. So it's going to stop all motors and then continue with my program. So I'm going to download this. And if everything works out well, my robot's going to drive forward. Actually, I'll turn on my sensor so you can see. My robot's going to turn, is going to drive forward. And once it senses something is 20 centimeters in front of it, it's going to stop all motors and then make that 90 degree turn. Okay. So again, that is how you start to get your robot to start thinking on its own using its sensors. Okay. So, um, if this video was of some help for you, please like the video, uh, please share it. Uh, robotics and engineering and programming is going to be a huge part of our tech industry. So please, 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 please uh, go ahead and share this video, like it. And remember, go build something cool. Hashtag, go build something cool.